Uh, here's an example of Zipf's law plotted for an entire corpus. So this is Associated Press uh, 89. We take a bunch of documents, compute their frequencies, sort those frequencies by ranks, and plot it. Now, I'm plotting this on a log, log scale. Can anyone guess why? The reason I'm doing that is if I plotted it on a linear scale, you wouldn't be able to see anything. The graph would hug the axes. But on a log-log scale, you get something that looks like a straight line. Right? Uh, so the black dots are the actual data observations, and the blue line is what you get from a fit of Zipf's law to this data. Right? So on the y-axis, I have the actual probabilities. On the x-axis, I have the ranks, and the Zipf's law tells me that the probability is going to be a certain constant divided by the rank. That's what the blue line is. And you see that the data falls quite nicely on that line for a whole range of words. Now, if you look on the right side of the curve, you see that the probabilities, that the observed probabilities, actually start deviating quite significantly from the zips. Prediction. So what does it mean? Uh, on the right, at high ranks, we have very rare words. So Zipf's law is not a very good fit to those very rare words.